In the last episode of my cycling journey through Europe, I camped out in the middle of a field, I took off with my paraglider from a remarkable mountain close to Geneva city, and I had a great time flying there and enjoying the landscape. I even had a chance to see Mont Blanc, which is the tallest mountain in Europe. After a beautiful flight, I had to land in somebody's backyard. After a short time, I reached back at my bicycle and continued my trip through Geneva, heading to one of the most popular sites of the city. It's pretty hard to drive so heavily packed with one hand, but wow, the water is just so beautiful, the way it's looking like. So this is Geneva, and I am going to go to that huge water fountain in front. Let me see how I can reach there. So this huge jet of water in the in front is what I was able to see from the paraglider when I took off right there is the ridge where I took off I have to cross first here yep I have to cross because I want to go close to it I wish I would stay longer here but uh, I have to push to reach Annecy and it's already 5 o'clock, I stay maybe till 6 here. This is a very beautiful city, it's one of the most popular cities in Europe I think, or in Switzerland. I don't know, me I know this city for a very long time and they've never been here. Okay, I have to turn all the way around. You know what? I'm going to ride through this park that's also an attraction and I go straight to the jet if I can find it yep right there in front of me <laughs> no from here no bicycles allowed Okay, I think I am reaching now there. Excuse me. It's okay, thank you. This is why I rode 8 kilometers now. Just to see this jet. I made it! <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this! This is Geneva, baby! It was worth coming all the way to here! <laughs> Let's go even a bit closer! Okay. I am riding to Annecy now. Barely came out of Geneva, huge city. I am about to cross the Swiss French border in about five minutes, ten minutes. Oh, and that's the mountain where I flew today. Whew. So yesterday I crossed the border from Switzerland to France. Today I crossed the border from France to Switzerland as I flew. And now I am crossing the border back into France. Let's see, is anybody to check me? Nope, it's free. That's it. I am now officially in France again. Okay. <sighs> I am pedaling for two hours now and I made little progress. It's 9 o'clock now. I will ride for another 10-15 minutes and then I'm going to find a spot to sleep for tonight. I try to reach the highest spot 
on the street first uh, and then it goes all downhill hopefully after switching off the camera i kept on cycling for another 15 minutes until i finally reached the highest peak on the road on top of the hill there was a small hotel so i entered to refill my bottles of water and after a short search i found this nice place on a big meadow I decided to camp behind this tall hedge and this way I was not completely in plain sight. I felt very tired and hungry after paragliding and riding the bicycle for the entire day but in the end I was feeling totally happy, calm and content. Hey there, good morning guys. I am now for a month on the road. It's 8.30 in the morning. I am already awake for like one and a half hours, finished eating, packed my tent as usual. And now I am going to head for Annecy. And this place is supposed to be amazing for paragliding. So this is where I'm going to head now. I have another 40 kilometers, I think, to reach my destination for today. And I will already try to fly today at least once. I have to stop to buy some groceries as well. Let's see the road once again now. I already see two takeoff sites. One of them is right there. Maybe like eight gliders in the air or even ten. And the other one is right there. I'm not sure if you can see anything. It seems to be a bit higher than the other one. I need maybe another 20 minutes to reach the landing site. And from there maybe I can find someone bring me up. Many, many, many pilots in the air. I think like 15 of them, what I can see with the naked eye. Four kilometers still <laughs> to reach the landing site. I finally reached. <laughs> I parked there where the motorbikes are. <laughs> I don't want to have it here in the sun. This is looking like a venue here. Wow, a very popular place. It's not just some regular landing site, but you can even have some boutiques where you can buy ice cream or beer. There are many tandem pilots, passengers, you know, uh, acrobatics, very beautiful place. I'm going to um, see if one of these cars can pick me up, can bring me to the takeoff site. Let's see how well I can manage the situation. Oh, I've spent like half an hour now here trying to get a car. So I spoke with a nice guy from that car there the middle one and he is going to ask the other pilots if that's okay for them if i will drive with them maybe i am lucky and i can go with them maybe not and if not i will hitchhike or i'm going to walk i am used to walk a lot from Zermatt back in switzerland but i am uh, on a time crunch here and i'm trying to make the best out of this so um, that's what it is oh my gosh the guys agreed <laughs> This is the guy in front who spoke with the other pilots and they agreed for me to go with them. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank God. If you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to watch what happens in the next one, make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated with the upcoming adventures. I post weekly episodes from my ongoing cycling trip from Germany to Gibraltar Strait, which stretches over 3,800 kilometers, leading me through five different countries. See you in the next one.